Welcome back to my channel today. I am going to be stamping. This is not a tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is probably my first, second, second time playing and stamping. And majority of the time, it was just me testing out the colors. I recently bought some mini Ology uh, stamping polish and I'm going to be swatching the colors so sit back and enjoy I'm only gonna be showing what I'm doing it probably well so if I'm doing something wrong and it don't work out let me know in the comments <laughs> tell me why I do it right I have been watching a few of many allergy videos so I am going to just be playing around with some stamping today again this is not a tutorial I'm not a nail professional i'm just a dyer who can't draw so we go to the next next thing and that is stickers and stamping plates <laughs> to get all the cute pretty designs so i'm going to start with this plate that i got in the maniology kit that i actually got free it wasn't a purchase it was actually a free um set that i got so i am going to be using this plate stamping can be messy let's start there so let me just get everything i'm going to need to make this process just a tad bit better so you do want to have some 100 percent acetone some cotton balls so you can uh clean up your stamping first color we're gonna start with is the white of my lint roller as well i picked this up from Shein. So yeah, I got this roller from Shein. I'm going to just clean off my stamper. Right. So which 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 one? I'm gonna go with this design. So you wanna saturate the design in the color you want to swipe at a angle I think I took all the color off. <laughs> uh, nope that didn't work <laughs> I said I think I took all the color off I think I put too much pressure so we just go again Going to clean it off with some acetone. Gotta get, especially because this is groove. Gotta get in the groove. Alright, we're gonna try this one more time. <laughs> yeah, look here. We I don't think I'm putting enough polish. Okay, so. Let's start there. Make sure it's a myth polish. And not so much pressure. That's somewhat of a better pickup, but not the best design. Somewhat of a better pickup though. Well, that didn't transfer. <laughs> Alrighty then. How do I, would I take it off the same way? Acetone? How would I get it off the brush if it ain't coming off? I don't think you're supposed to put acetone on your stamper. Not gonna give up. <laughs> that. Okay. That 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 don't work.
I gotta clean off my swipe too. Ooh. I'm using a different stamp. No, I think it's just the image. Well, at least that transferred. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I don't put it on the whole thing. Maybe I just put it on a little bit. I think I'm taking too much of the polish off. Because it's not getting into all of the grooves. And it's drying really fast. That worked. Okay, hold on. Let me get it on here. That worked. I got to work way faster because I think it dragged in some spots. So that's the white. It was such a better swatch. Figured out what I was doing wrong. <laughs> yeah, so you don't have to put the polish on the entire uh, image, just some. All right, so for this one, I'm going to be using this color here. And this is a small image. Florida. So I'm gonna take how they be taking that off with it. I don't know. So these things dry fast. It's dry. <laughs> I don't <laughs> how is it dry already? So you got to definitely work fast. Well, I did a little bit, but it wasn't recording. So, <laughs> oh my God. we took a move on to the next one. <laughs> Cause I, I finally get one just a little bit right. And I looked up, nope. <clears throat> and this is B307. I love this color. We, we gonna go with. Kansas City down here or Georgia. Let's go with Georgia. Let's see if Georgia is easy to pick up. Let's go with Georgia. I think, am I pressing it too hard? <sighs> I thought I was doing slight pressure, but this image Stamping is not easy. This video may not see the light of day. <laughs> this video just might not see the light of day. Slight roll. Oh, that was better. That was so much better. Bet George, Georgia got in there. 
bet. I likes. That was, Georgia said, okay, we ain't playing games today. That was the perfect pickup. Okay, okay, okay. I, I see, I see, I see you. I see you. I see me. That was good. That was a good pickup. Okay. So definitely having that tacky base helps it stick. Because that transferred no problem. But this one was able to stick without the tacky base. So, tacky base helped. Put the uh, tacky base coat on top of these and then let it dry. So, I have this palette, this plate, and what image I'm going to stamp? I stamp, I try to stamp that little thing over there. Nice. Yay! That was a nice transfer. Even though you could barely see the image. But it transferred nice. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> okay, so the difference in what I'm doing is I'm being more gentle. <laughs> I'm scraping lightly and I am rolling the stamper on instead of pressing down like I was doing first thing. So that is something different that I am doing that is helping me transfer the image. Okay. So let's do let's do a big one. Let's do we want to do hard. Let's do the stars. Let's let's challenge, challenge. Let me put it on the whole thing and see. Okay, so that is, I can see where some of the polish is missing, but we're going to go with it. That is a good pickup. I'm going to go with it. That's a good pickup for me. Had I been putting it on my nails, I probably would have tried it again. But just for it to go on here, it'll work. So this plate is from Red Iguana. So I want to try this one. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. So it is a little bit smudge and I am missing a few places. And it did not transfer well. At all, at all. But we already up. And then this one is the one that came with the kids. Now I think that is a little too much. Just a little bit. That is a lot better. But I ain't got nowhere to put this. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stamp it on, on the napkin. 
Oh, I ain't got no sticky base. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that is. I stamped it on the roller. <laughs> that went the minus a little bit of smudges. That worked perfect. Okay, so this one don't have a sticky base and it transferred. So it's just a matter of whether there's a nail and this is a buff nail. So I did buff it and it transferred pretty well without having a sticky base. This one has the sticky base. I love that color. It's just a matter of image I don't see I see people doing it but that don't work for me so I gotta be very careful how I stamp this on nail So, no doubt it didn't go on. Maybe because I let it dry. Let me try it on this one. And it worked. So, this one worked without the sticky base. But maybe I went faster. This one went stamp on now, but it's stamped with the sticky base. So, for slow people <laughs> like myself... Oh, the sticky base is definitely going to come handy. Once you get the hang of it, so much better. <laughs> so this is another plate that I got from Red Iguana. And for some reason, my video, I wasn't recording, so I'm showing you now. So this is one of the plates that I bought from that Red Iguana sale. And it wasn't in camera. And my camera cut it off. And this is also a, the other, the third one. So I bought a total of three. This one, this one, and then the lace. So I bought the lace, Paradise Garden, and Marble. So those are the three that I... But these are the two that didn't show up in um the video. So definitely wanted to show that. I want to test... So the only other color that I uh stamping place stamping polishes that I have is born pretty so we want to test that out we're gonna work with them a little bit So that trick worked on that polish. <laughs> so we're going to put the butterfly. And so you can see right there. Nice. Nice transfer. Let's try. Oh, let's do this. I'm trying to see.
so the sticky base works with that one as well stamping is fun once you know what you, once you know what you're doing oh uh, once you know what you're doing it can be pretty fun so with this one i'm going to do the cherry It was a little struggle at first. All right, so these are nails that are buffed. And these are some press-ons. And I didn't buff these. Some pieces ash great. A little too hard. So I'm going to try that again. I saw a few pieces that was missing. Bam. Super pretty. So this is a born pretty color. Okay, I am, once you get the hang of it, <laughs> that is super cute. Okay, this is the last one, this is the last nail. I could put something else on there. All right, but this, this is it, let's see. Let's see, which one do I wanna do? Do a hard one. Let's see, what color am I going to use? Let's do silver. And we're going to go with this one. Uh-oh. I'm going to swipe it this way. Swipe it again this way, just on the safe side. Ooh, ooh, that's my fault. <laughs> it fell out. <laughs> oh, 
definitely got to do that again. Yay! I like that bird is lonely over there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do give him a friend. I believe this is the smudge free the one that came with this one I think this is the smudge free top coat so we're gonna go in with the top coat so these are the designs that I stamped As you can tell, it was definitely a struggle. We didn't start here. We ended here, but we didn't start here. I truly appreciate it if you stuck it with me through this chaotic journey of stamping. I absolutely enjoy the process, my mistakes, my fixes to end up with some of these perfect stamps. I absolutely love it. If you have made it this far in the video, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you for sticking it out with me on this chaotic journey. We made it to where we are stamping pretty images. I will definitely continue practicing. I think practice makes better. <laughs> uh, the more you practice, the better you get at it. Won't say it's perfect, but better. Thank you so much. If you are new here and you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It does not go unnoticed. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And until the next time, bye-bye. What a wonderful world.